Today I'm going to talk about the equations which are homogeneous equations, right? Let's talk about that and let's do some questions regarding that, right? Let us begin. Homogeneous equations, right? What are homogeneous equations? Remember that it equations whose units on the left hand side are equal to the units on the right, right hand side, they are known as homogeneous equations. So for example, आपके पास एक इक्वेशन है जो आप लोगों ने ओ लेवल्स में भी पढ़ी हुई है ए इज इक्वल टू वी माइनस यू ओवर टी इफ यू रिमेंबर एक्सेलरेशन इज द रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ वेलोसिटी वी इज द फाइनल वेलोसिटी यू इज द इनिशियल वेलोसिटी टी इज द टाइम इज द एक्सेलरेशन कैन आई राइट इट लाइक दिस इफ दिस टी गोज हेयर दिस बिकम्स ए टी इज इक्वल टू वी माइनस यू एंड वी गेट वॉट वी गेट वी इज इक्वल टू यू प्लस ए टी एंड इफ यू फिगर आउट हेयर The units of v are what? They are meter per second. The units of u are what? They are meter per second. अच्छा अगर आप देखें तो acceleration के units क्या हैं? They are meter per second square. But the units of time are second. So again it becomes what? M is minus one. So you see here one thing that the units on the left hand side are in fact equal to the units of all the terms on the right hand side. मतलब आपके जितनी भी terms हैं left hand side पे और जितनी भी टर्म्स है राइट हैंड साइड पे देर यूनिट्स आर गोइंग टू बी इक्वल ठीक है दे हैव द सेम यूनिट्स हाँ उससे कोई फर्क इसलिए नहीं पड़ता क्योंकि आपने इंडिविजुअल टर्म्स को देखना ठीक है आप वैसे भी देख लें अगर ये प्लस हो जाए तो ये एम एस माइनस वन है इसको मैं अगर टू एम एस माइनस वन देख लू तो टू तो डायमेंशन कॉन्स्टेंट है उसका तो कोई कोई फायदा नहीं है सो यू हैव टू सी द टर्म्स इज दैट क्लियर ठीक है Remember that that all correct equations, equations are homogeneous. जितनी भी आपको खुद वो एग्जामिनर इक्वेशन देगा अगर कहेगा ये इक्वेशन है तो वो होमोजीनियस होगी लेकिन कुछ ऐसी भी इक्वेशन होती हैं जो इनकरेक्ट बन जाती हैं आप खुद उसको इनकरेक्ट बना देते हैं लेकिन वो भी होमोजीनियस रहेंगी विल सी दैट ऑल करेक्ट इक्वेशन आर होमोजीनियस बट नॉट एवरी एवरी homogeneous equation equation is correct for example we have here an equation acha maine aapko abhi bataya tha it's v is equal to u plus at if you remember ye correct equation hai for example main yahan pe 4 laga do main ek incorrect coefficient laga do yahan pe main yahan pe ek incorrect coefficient laga do to ye equation homogeneous to rahegi phir bhi lekin incorrect ban jayegi matlab yahan pe bhi units ki meter per second hai इसकी यूनिट्स भी मीटर पर सेकंड है दीज यूनिट्स आर आल्सो मीटर पर सेकंड इफ यू इग्नोर फोर सो बिकॉज मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर इनटू सेकंड इज मीटर पर सेकंड सो इफ यू लुक क्लोजली हियर दिस इज अ होमोजेनियस इक्वेशन बट एन इनकरेक्ट कोफिशियंट हैज बीन इंट्रोड्यूस हियर इनकरेक्ट कोफिशियंट मेक्स इट मेक्स द इक्वेशन रॉन्ग बट इट इज स्टिल होमोजेनियस सो दिस इक्वेशन इज होमोजेनियस But is incorrect. ठीक है Number टू We have here another equation. For example, v is equal to u plus ए टी बट आई इंट्रोड्यूस अनदर टर्म हेयर ए इन टू एस अच्छा एस यहां पर दिस एस इज डिस्प्लेसमेंट दिस एस हेयर इज डिस्प्लेसमेंट तो आप मुझे बताएं कि यह होमोजीनियस है can you, can you check it? This is meter per second. Okay, this one. This entire term is. Okay, what about this one? A is acceleration. S is displacement. And you take the. Okay, and you bring this to outside. So you see what? Yes, this is homogeneous, but it is an incorrect equation because of an extra term. So this is an incorrect equation, but it is still homogeneous, right? ठीक है ये एक एक्स्ट्रा टर्म आपने इंट्रोड्यूस करवा दी है इक्वेशन इज होमोजीनियस बट इज इनकरेक्ट बट इन करेक्ट नंबर थ्री वी हैव एन इक्वेशन फॉर द टाइम पीरियड टू पाई अंडर रूट एलोवर्जी स्टडी दिस इक्वेशन लेटर इन ए टू एज वेल राइट एंड ये एक करेक्ट इक्वेशन है अगर मैं यहां पे एक माइनस का साइन लगा दू तो ये एक इनकरेक्ट इक्वेशन बन जाएगी दिस माइनस हेयर इज 
incorrect, right? There is an incorrect sign here. And you see that it is homogeneous, but incorrect. How do you check it? How homogeneous is it? If it's time seconds, mein hai, 2 pi to ignore it. And here you have L ka unit hai meters. G is gravitational field strength. This is meter per second square. Raised to power 1 over 2. And so this meter cancels with this meter. This minus 2 goes up and this becomes S square. Which has a power up. And this is 1 over 2. So this, this cancels with this one and you get S is equal to S. So yes, this equation is homogeneous but is incorrect. Uh, let us do some questions regarding this. We have a question here from October, November 15, right? question Let us begin. Achazi, as you can see here, uh, this question is a cylindrical tube rolling down a slope of inclination theta moves a distance capital L in time t. The equation relating these quantities is capital L times 3 plus a square over p bracket close is equal to qt square sine theta, where a is the internal radius of the tube and p and q are constant. Which row gives the correct units for P and for Q? This question is from October, November 15, paper one, three, question number six. Let's, let's do this, right? So you have here a slope and uh, the angle here is theta. And what is happening is that the, there's a cylindrical tube like this. The radius is A of this tube. And we have P and Q constant, right? So what we can write here is we can write 3L. Let's expand 3L plus L A square over P is equal to QT square sine of theta. This time is capital T. Length is slope ki capital L. Now if you want to this is a correct equation. So this is a homogeneous equation, right? So the units of this are equal to the units of this entire term. And the units of this entire term is equal to units of this entire term, right? Are you getting what I'm saying? Okay. If you want to see this, what are the units of this 3L? 3L, then you will ignore it. So it's a meter unit. Okay, what about this? It's a meter unit meter. Is puri term ke bhi unit meter honge, I'm going to I'm going to write here meter is equal to the units of L are because it is the length that is meter A is what uh, internal radius that is meter square and we have P here this meter and this meter gets cancelled out and you get what you get P is equal to m square so units of P are meter square is that clear to all of you? And another thing here is about the Q units find Kanda. So if you look closely here, the units of this entire term are what? Meter. They're what? They're meter, right? So we can write here that as a sine theta ho kya hum? ignore karenge because it is a dimensionless constant. So QT square is equal to meter. The units of QT square are equal to meter. The units of TR S S ke saath square aa jayega. and you get what you get. This goes here and this becomes N S minus two. Ye puri jo term hai na, ye wali, this one. This puri term ke units meter. Hai. Achha, is puri term ke units meter. Hai, to is puri term ke units bhi meter. Hai. To aapko pata hai L ki units meter hai. A aapke paas internal radius hai. To radius ki unit meter hota hai. To meter ka square ho gaya. Aur P aapke paas yahan pe aa gaya. Is equal, it is equal to meter. Yahan se meter meter cancel out ho gaya. This P will go here. And you get meter square. So this is what a uh, homogeneous equation is. I hope this is clear to all of you. Let us do another question here so that you can play with the, the indices, right? Achazi, so this question, as you can see here, this came in summer 17, paper 1, 1, question number 3. Is it a try karay? Aapne usi se homogeneity ko use karke n ki value nikaal liye. n is the power. Just try this. N is the power. You have to find the value of N. Just try this. The speed V of a liquid leaving a tube depends on the change in pressure delta P and the density of the liquid. The speed is given by the equation this, this, this. V is equal to K times 
delta p over rho rho is the density raised to power n and uh, k is a constant that has no units so it is a dimensionless constant what is the value of n you have to find the value of n aapne isme kya rule apply karna hai you have to compare the units of the left hand side with the right right hand side aur isme aapne ye rule kar use karna hai ke agar aapke paas basis same ho jaye agar basis same ho jaye to unki power same hoti hai agar basis same ho jaye to unki power same hoti hai to aapne ye concept use karke isko karna so i'm going to solve this for you guys yep if you look closely here we have v here v is this the speed right so what are the units of the speed they are meter per second theek hai acha is equal to k ke kya units honge there are no units of k because it is a dimensionless constant right acha agar aap yahan pe gaur kare the change in pressure we can write it like this rho g delta h can we write it like this pressure is rho g delta h and we have rho here raised to power n मैंने क्या किया मैंने प्रेशर की जगह रोजी डेल्टा एच ये प्रेशर का फॉर्मूला है फ्लोइड्स बिकॉज इट इज लिक्विड सो दिस इज द फॉर्मूला दैट प्रेशर इज रोजी डेल्टा एच समझ आ रही है जी नाउ आई आई एम गोइंग टू कैंसिल दिस रो विद दिस रो एंड आई गेट व्हाट आई गेट एम एस माइनस वन यहां पे मेरे पास जी के यूनिट्स क्या होंगे दिस इज मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर दिस इज ग्रेविटेशनल एक्सेलरेशन टाइम्स मीटर रेज टू पावर एन and i can write here ms minus 1 is equal to meter square s minus 2 raised to power n likh sakta hu acha now i can do what i can take this two outside theek hai ab dekhiye agar ab in dono ko agar dekhe aap single meter meter ko bhi dekh sakte the aap meter ki power 2 n kar de s ki power minus 2 n kar de wo bhi sahi hai लेकिन अगर आप इस पूरी टर्म को देखें तो इस पूरी टर्म का जो यूनिट है और जो पावर है इसकी दैट इज वन इस पूरी जो आपको एम एस माइनस वन नजर आ रहा है इसका इसकी पावर क्या है दैट इज टू एन समझ आ रही है इस पूरी की पावर जो है वो वन है इस पूरी की पावर टू एन जब बेसिस सेम हो जाए तो पावर भी सेम हो जाती है रिमेम्बर दैट द बेसिस आर सेम दावर आर सेम एन बिकम्स इक्वल टू वन ओवर टू यू गो there is another way to solve this what if i what if i write it like this m raised to power 1 s raised to power minus 1 m raised to power 2n ye dekhin 2n tha na ye and s raised to power minus 2n main sirf meter ko compare kar lu meter ke sath to aap dekhiye agar meter ko meter ke sath compare karunga to 1 is equal to 2n and you get n is equal to 1 over 2 there you go